Good job. It hurts, it but, hurts. It, but it works. What's up, modern stutters? All of our boards are dried overnight, which is awesome. We got our assistant here, which is even better. Now we're gonna take all the boards off, flip them around. We're gonna put some tar paper down first, and then we're gonna screw our decking right down to the trailer. Yeah. All right, so you wanna help me pile up the boards? We can go, let's start down that end and put them on the ground first, and then we'll stack, so then we'll stack these boards on top of those. Stack them up like this. Oh, okay. How's that? Good. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> I can get this one by myself. You sure? No! <laughs> That's heavy. They are heavy. Especially if they're just one tiny little boy. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, these boys are from building our house. Yeah. These are the Thank you. Do you want to go over a little? What's that? Do you want this to go over this? It can go over that way a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it did. Awesome. I don't want to flip it over. Right. Do it like this, twist it. Perfect. Oh yeah, because anyways I'm just gonna be covering that. Having some technical difficulties trying to figure out the best way to get all these boards screwed down. They didn't have the proper screws that I wanted. When I went to the hardware store the other day, so we're trying to get these ones, which aren't. They just have a big head on them, so if we countersink them, they're working nice, and that way the head's not sticking up. We'll have the walls over here too. Maybe I'll get some different bolts and bolt the board down the middle to see how much. That's on there pretty good like that. I like, I'm happy with that. So we're just gonna keep on going. We're using the tar paper as a moisture barrier from the grass. Sorry about the chicken over there. She must be laying an egg and she's excited about it or it's hurting. I don't know. I've never had the experience of laying an egg. Let me just hold the board. The other side? Yeah. Okay. Okay. How tight is it gonna go? Yep. Wait, so that goes up and then I have to push it. Then you can push it. Squeeze the trigger and push it. There you go. Then bump it. job. It hurts, it but, hurts. It, but it works. It hurts, but it works. It rhymes, too. Did that one hurt? Yes. Yes. It like hurts like, like almost like the first line in your finger. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if we need to put down this first or more tar. Okay. Uh, we'll do this first. This first. What you can do too, Olivia, is before you put it, see how much space you got between your clamp? Yeah. So if you take it and hold it, you can adjust it a little bit before. So this right here, push this, yep, 
and there you go, then you'll have to pump it less. Just a little bit. There you go. And then if you... I need you to hold the board. Because if I push it down, this will be good. So here, if we do this, this, and push, okay, now pump it. Good job. You're going to be building mobile chicken coops on your own before you know it. Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. You can start your own side business. That should be good. That should be good. I just gotta put a little bit of pressure on it for you. That's all. I did it. You did. Can I have to do that side? Yep. That end. Nope, this end. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's chalk coming out. Uh, okay. Ready, watch. Yeah. Now I got a nice straight line to cut on. Whoa. But not that much. Yeah. Oh, I got a. The line's crooked, but it's. I got a line to go down to cut with a saws up my skill saw. You should like that. You like using chalk. Alright, ready? Yep. Okay, you gonna hold that end. I'll hold this well, end. I you go down that end. Move that, kick that razor blade over. There you go. All the way to here. Okay, you want me to come down that end and hold that end? Nope. Pull it tight, as tight as you can get it. Okay. Awesome. Now you can reel it up. Is that fun? Yeah. You can't pull the line. You gotta get down there, pick up the reel, and then reel it. Ow. So as long as I figure everything out correctly, which sometimes I don't. We should have enough 2x4s to frame up the walls and the roof on the chicken coop.
Well, modern steaders, I think that's a good place to end today's video. It was a very fruitful day. I had my helper out here and she was an awesome help today, helping me get the decking on the trailer. We ran out to the hardware store and picked up the lumber we're gonna need to frame it up. So tomorrow we're gonna start framing it up and we're bringing you guys along with us. So let us know what you think so far about our mobile chicken coop. What did we do wrong? What are we doing right? Leave it in the comments below. We'll see you right back here tomorrow, guys, at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Thank you.